this video I'm going to show you how to convert a couple of miniatures for the Maudlin Acid Dogs Regiment for the Astra Militarum. Hello guys, this is Craig from bitsfox.co.uk. So we're going to convert a couple of the Maudlin Acid Dogs. Um, you can see that here in the latest codex. Um, they've always been one of my favourite regiments for the Astra Militarum, um, but I don't think they're represented very well with this piece of artwork. Um, there are a couple of pieces of artwork floating around on the internet. Um, I'll pop a couple of them up on the screen now. So we're going to go with a more sort of scavenger look, um, represent sort of represent that on the miniature, and they also use their own sort of pattern of las guns, so we're going to represent that on one of the miniatures as well. So um, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so um, yeah, we're going to do some modern acid dogs in this video. Now I've got a couple of bases ready for them. Now um, I have a couple of miniatures here just to show off first. These are from my Blan Jitsu warband, um, as my second warband actually. Um, you might remember this guy on a video we did. Um, I've changed them up slightly. So this guy could easily represent a modern acid dog um, if you wanted him to. So the um, codex doesn't give too much away about them, but if you read their fluff, you sort of see their sort of scavengers. Um, hence, we have like these extra pieces of armor and spikes. Um, always good to give them a backpack of some sort to carry all their equipment in. Extra little knives and pouches has been added onto this guy, also. So he'd work pretty well. And um, we also have this guy. I want to show him off because I think he's quite interesting. Um, so, I made this like little weapon on the side here. This is from a blade arm from one of these guys. Um, this is one of the Renegade Chaos guys from Forge World. I've chopped the blade off there and I've replaced it with like a little watch cog essentially. So it looks like a sort of circular saw. I don't know what his head's from actually. Um, it's a bit hard to see on the camera but... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. It's something from Forge World. Um, maybe someone will leave a note in the comments. But um, yeah, the, they're just a few couple of miniatures which could represent more than acid dogs. I don't think the artwork in the codex is that great. It looks a, it looks a bit too Cadian for me. But if you look online and read up about the more than acid dogs, you'll have a bit better understanding of what they're all about. And um, hopefully we can represent that. Um, in this video. So we're going to make a couple and then we're slightly different. Just giving you some ideas of what to use. Um, so I have two pairs of legs. Um, not them ones though, I don't mind using them ones. Um, we'll start with these ones. So these are just some regular Katachan legs. You can use Cadian legs if you so wish. I think the Katachan ones with all the pockets and stuff work quite well. So we're going to glue them to a base, and my other pair of legs um, don't seem to be here, so I'll just go grab them, but I'm going to use some from the Militarum Tempestus Scions, which is um, what these two miniatures, I'll keep them in shot, that's what these two guys use, they use the Scion legs. So with our Scion legs, they do have a, round, a rounded top, so we do need to flatten that down, I'm just going to grab some clippers, and this is probably going to fly off. Oh, not too bad. There, so that's not the straightest cut in the world, but um, I can grab my file, just file that down a bit. Because um, the torso I want to put on there has a flat bottom, so it'd look a bit silly having a rounded top on these legs. So, file that down and just get these glued to the base, also, like so. So, uh, while we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to concentrate on the body of the other one. So I'm doing these guys slightly different, just to give you guys a couple of ideas of what to do with these miniatures. So the first one, we're going to give them just a regular Cadian torso. And um, they do, they does say in their fluff that they, they do use flat armor, so a Cadian torso will work really well. Try and get that to stay on there. 
Um, in the, for the other guy though, I'm going to use a torso from the Empire Archers set. If it'll look okay, it should look okay. You can always use pouches and stuff to cover up any mistakes. Or any weird looking joins. Or of course you can use green stuff. So they are our torsos. So um, one bit of fluff about the modern acid dogs, so it doesn't seem to feature in the codex, there is only a little paragraph about them. Um, they use a slightly different pattern of lasgun to a regular cadian, so they use what's known as a cantrail pattern lasgun. So to represent to represent this, um, we're going to use one from the um, Scions. Um, essentially the lasgun is described as having a longer barrel than a regular lasgun. Um, I think these work quite well, they have a little scope on as well. Um, their, their home planet actually of more than, um, it's like a night planet so it's like in constant darkness. I think they have a lot of underground mines and stuff so there's sort of a scope, maybe like night vision or something on there, I think would work quite well. Sort of represent their standard war gear. Now we're going give, to give this to the guy with the Cadian torso. And we're going to use the Tempestus Scion Arms as well. Now what we're not going to use is the Tumen. Now you can if you so wish. But on this particular guy we're just going to cut it. We're just going to cut it there. And we'll just file the bottom of that. And then we shall glue on the arms for this. So while we wait for that to dry, um, now I wanted to do a, another one of these but I don't have a spare arm, I thought I did, but I didn't so um, we're not going to do that on the other guy but um, as I said um, they're quite easy to do if you can get hold of them spiked bits from from these guys. I really, I really like the Chaos Renegades, I really must get mine painted. That's literally just using the upgrades stuff with some Cadian legs. Um, for anyone who's interested. But for the other guy, um, I do have some of these. Now I think these are these are just from the Death Corps of Krieg, possibly. I think so. Um, also the Chaos Renegade ones work quite well too. And now these are quite thinner than normal arms, but that's fine. If you use two of them, rather than just um, just a one, then I think you'll get away with it. So just trying to neaten up the um, resin on this one. So a lot of a lot of extra resin on it. Now of course um, these have to be super glued on because they are resin. Fire on so yeah, we're gonna give this guy a chain sword and a las pistol. So that essentially just go on. It's my hands in the way. I apologise. Yeah, they should look okay. Um, I like these because they have like the metal shoulder pad things on them, which are quite cool. Now, of course, you could use catch hand bits. As well, this guy uses a catch and torso, which I quite like. Um, he's also got, I think the armor plate is from the orcs, the orc boys, and his backpack is from the near fights. Now, of course, near fights have some amazing bits as well. Fortunately, I don't really have any near fight bits here, but we will be using some Gene Steel Cult bits later on in this video. So, I just need to grab my super glue. And I'll be back. Okay, so super glue grabbed, and it's time to glue his arms on. Now, what I like to do with super glue, just to score a few little lines on the join. It just helps for glue settle on that piece, especially with resin. Sometimes, um, 
There's still a little bit of release agent there as well. So I'm not really too fast on the pose to be honest. Um, this is just to show you guys for the purposes of this video. So just kind of glue it on any old way. And I really like these little Forge Wild Las Pistols. They sort of look like an Uzi with a big sort of mag on there. Really cool. And um, I'll just give that a couple of seconds to dry. And while that's drying, we can go back to this guy. So we are hopping to and fro a little bit. So I apologise for, but just makes it quicker for me to get these guys built up. So I'm going to glue this hand on. Well, this arm on, I should say. And then glue the arms onto the torso. They should fit the Cadian torso quite well. Um, I can't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, they seem to fit fine. Just hold that in place for a bit. Now, as I said, you could um, have a backpack and that. But I'm not too fussed at this stage. And again, I like these these arms because they have like the metal shoulder pad things as well. That one looks a bit higher than the other one. Um, let's bring that. I think the other one needs to come up. There we go, that looks better. So yeah, it could be, I know it would be a bit expensive if you wanted to do a load of these with these last guns, but you could, um, you know, you could get some tubing to extend the barrels, you could get some scopes to put on them. Um, choice really is yours, but um, just, for, just for ease. I really like using the Scions ones. So we'll glue this chainsaw on. And again with these, um, you don't have to use the Forge Wild pieces of course. So yeah, um, that was a bit of a goofy pose actually. Not 100% sure I like that too much, but for the purposes of this video we'll We'll go with it. So the next thing I want to do is add some backpacks to these miniatures. Now we can actually take the backpack from the Scion Las, Las Gun and we can chop off we can chop off the tubing. And that gives us a little flat area where we can add something to it. I'll just fire it down. And if I can find it, I will show you what I want to add. So, um, pre prepared as always, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I have here is a little Forge World knife. Um, you find these on with a lot of their um, Imperial Guard stuff. They'll have these little pouches, grenades, and knives on a little sprue. And you can see them. I really like them because they're quite little. Um, some of the knives, sheath knives especially, that you get with some of the IG stuff just seemed quite large. And um, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna stick it on this backpack. Little tiny dollop of super glue. Probably way too much. And then we're gonna stick it on there like so. So a little knife attached to his backpack and also covers up where them tubes are coming out. So I'll just give that a few seconds to dry. I'm gonna put that on this guy. And for the other guy, we're just going to take a regular, we'll just take a regular backpack. This is from the Heavy Weapons teams. Um, you get a few of these backpacks in them sets. So, and um, there's quite a few of them. They're quite easily available. We should be able just to simply glue that onto his back. Now, again, you don't have to do this on every single modern acid dog. But it does sort of represent the extra equipment that they take, and it actually fits on there really well. Um, that said, um, you do get them in the Cadian Heavy Weapons team, so they're sort of designed to fit that back, I should imagine. Um, it'll be a different story for this guy, but um, hopefully we can still get the backpack on okay. Now, of course, you don't have to use the Empire Torso that I've used here either, you could just use anything, but. Um, I've had it lying around, I thought why not use it. I mean, these, these guys will literally just 
um, use whatever they can find, wear whatever they can find. They are scavengers. So um, really mix it up with these guys. You can just buy a few kits and really just go to town with your conversions and you'll have a really cool looking army at the end of it. And you'll be surprised how little you'll have spare because if you used a load of different, if you bought like three or four different kits and used all the legs, torsos and stuff from them and mixed them and matched them about, then that would look really cool. Say for example you use Catchins, Cadians, um, an Empire set, some Scions. You'll have a really cool looking force, it'll be very unique. So with these on, and I know I need to clean up the top of that a bit better, but doesn't matter. Yeah, anyway, with these on, all that's left is the heads. Now, um, again, you can use loads of different heads. The artwork has a sort of Acadian looking helmet, but I don't know what, do something different to that. I really like the head that this guy has. And that is from the GNC Occult Upgrade Sprue. And there are some really cool heads on this. Um, I use this a lot, my um, sort of post-apocalyptic Flanjutsu Warband, I'm using a few of these. Um, I have another one up here, it's actually a female miniature, and we might um, look into some female miniatures in the future. Um, but she uses a head from this sprue. Um, she's one of my favourite little conversions I've done, actually. I really, really like her. And maybe we'll do a, a video in the future looking at making some miniatures similar. So yeah, and there just is an abundance of heads to choose from. I'm going to take these two here, though. Actually, no, I'm going to take... Mm, that's probably a bit too Gene Steeler-ish. I quite like the one with the goggles up, but I don't know if he's still a bit too... too much like a Gene Steeler cult guy. But that's actually a really, really nice head. And um, we'll take this one up here, actually. So yeah, these ones with like the masks over their faces, I really like. But again, you can use anything for these guys. Absolutely anything. Being scavengers, um, they're literally just gonna wear whatever they can find. So, you know, they might have a load of Cajun hel helmets lying around. So, a Cajun head would certainly suffice. And of course, when it comes to painting them, you could, you could paint their equipment in different colours to match what they've scavenged them and stuff like that. Um, these really are one of my favourite regiments for the Astra Militarum. So we'll stick his head on. I've got glue all over my fingers so this is not going to go too swimmingly. But um, these heads fit on the Acadian torso is absolutely fine. Um, GW are very good at making a lot of their stuff quite universal. Now of course um, you could file down the sort of lumps and bumps on their heads. Make them look less Gene steel like But that is essentially it. Um, we'll come in for a little group shot and I'll show off the other two as well, why not? So, so yeah, I'm just get them together and we'll show them off for a little group shot and outro. Okay, so here we are, and then these are the two that we have worked on today. Um, I'm really happy with how they've came out actually. I'm a, I really enjoy um, doing these little conversions. I'm really enjoying doing this conversion corner segment. So yeah, that's our modern acid dog. And again, just um, having a different las gun is probably the key, as well as a different head. Um, you could literally just go Cajun with everything else if you want. The extra equipment really sort of shows them off and just sticks with the fluff. Um, that's the important thing. It's a shame DW just didn't go a little bit more with them um, in the codex to show them off a bit more because they are my favourite regiment. I really like the Warden Acid Dogs. So this guy, yeah his arms are a bit goofy looking but um, you could literally use anything. But yeah, um, I'm hoping to do some more different regiments in the future. Um, if you have any suggestions for any regiments or any conversions you would like to see on this channel, then please do leave a comment below, because um, I will certainly try and do as many as I can, if not all of them. And um, all I have to say is if you have enjoyed this video, you can of course give it a like. Um, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the videos we're coming out. We're trying to do a conversion video every week, so um, 
You can also click the little bell icon if you'd like to have a notification um, when they all go out. And you can also check out our Patreon. Um, this video should be going up in October still. And um, we will be giving away a couple of copies of Shadespire to, end to um, people on our Patreon. So if you're on our Patreon, even if you're just on the $1 pledge, um, you'll be entered into a competition to win a copy of Shadespire. Um, as long as you've signed up um, during October. So yeah, um, all that's left to say, as always, is thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.